kids play out in the snow, be careful. Uh, walking in the snow is not as dangerous as driving is in the snow. And that's why we have John Hurt with TxDOT on the phone right you now. You talk about a guy who's been busy. John Hurt joins us from TxDOT, and he's on the phone with us now. John, good morning to you. Uh, what's the current situation? Uh, we're actually in fair shape. The, we have not had any closures on the state highway system in the Austin area overnight, and we don't anticipate any. Uh, we had some due to accidents, but I mean, as far as snow shutting down, uh, we have not had to close down the system. Want to want to correct one bit of information? Interstate 35 is is not closed in Hayes County. There are no closures in Hayes County. It's actually a little bit farther south around yeah. Cibolo and Shirts that area. So. Um, the roads in Austin are passable. We still we've had crews out since seven o'clock last night. They worked overnight. Um, as the temperatures struggle above freezing, we hope that uh, we'll start seeing the the thawing and and this will move on out of the area. And by uh, early afternoon, it'll start looking a lot better than it does now. But we're we're passable. But people still have to realize that it, while it looks nice and soft and fluffy, it actually has the traffic increases it's going to pack down and become more of an icy yeah. surface that's what you've been talking about all morning long john um getting some reports from viewers who have been waiting um in traffic on i-35 for some time because of the slippery conditions have you gotten any reports of people who have been slipping and sliding on the roads there yeah we've had uh, but most of the most of the problem has been people driving too fast for the conditions mm -hmm. uh which we see every time we have an event like this if you exercise Prudence and caution. The the roads are passable, um, as Deborah mentioned. Very good point that um, the striping is difficult to see in a lot of places. Yeah. So you, when, especially on the the lesser traveled roads, the striping, the left turn lanes, the center turn lanes, are going to be hard to see. So it's better if you just sort of get in the clear lane, like the interstates have. Play follow the leader, and that way. Um, the traffic is a lot safer than trying to trying to find lane assignments in the snow. Yeah, John, I got up this morning. Uh, actually, went to bed pretty early last night. No snow, and and got up this morning. Got in the Looked car. Like a Christmas car. Yeah, no kidding, didn't it? I got in the car, went on 620, uh, started coming down 183, and I'm thinking, okay, where's Text Dot here? What's going on? And, and I know better because I, I we we talked to you yesterday. Tell us and and tell folks about. The preventative measures you guys took. You guys were out early last night yeah. getting everything set, and these roads were actually treated before that snow hit them. Is that right in, in many cases? That's correct. The, the, the pre-treater, the crews with the pre-treating chemicals went out uh, as early as 6 o'clock last night in Hayes County and then around 7 and 8 in Travis County and began aggressively treating the elevated structures, which always are the first ice. Yeah. Uh, they have been working throughout the night. I noticed them uh, working the interstate as I drove through earlier this morning. Um, and they're still out, and we'll keep them out. Um, this crew will, will come in and we'll keep them out through the morning as, as conditions dictate. We um, Hopefully, since the schools are out, that'll mitigate a lot of the traffic that, that they have to work in, and, and they'll be able to continue to move throughout the city pretty much as they need to be. What is that pre-treatment you guys have? And I don't want to scientific explanation but is it something to keep the ice from from forming or, yes. or cuts it down because I was surprised I hit that it looked like my tracks were the first ones on the 183 flyover down on southbound Mopac and it was very passable and you're right you gotta you know use the right speed for these conditions right but is that is that something that that prevented some of the ice from building up yes that's absolutely that's that's its job it's a chemical called mag chloride or magnesium chloride uh, we put it down actually before the snow or the ice, the sleet begins to fall, and what it does is it keeps that from forming that icy sheet. It, it forms sort of a slushy material uh, that you can drive on, and it actually works better. The more traffic that's on it, keeps it stirred up, keeps it warm, uh, the better it works. So we actually encourage, uh, you know, the traffic to stay on those sections because it, it agitates it and, and improves the performance. But yeah, they were out as uh, long before the precipitation began to fall, putting this material out. All right, just to recap, John, because I know that you're really busy. You've been up for a while now. <laughs> Any flyover, flyovers? Um, none have Update been closed, right? No flyovers have been closed. Nothing in I-35 or MOPAC closed either. No, we did not close anything overnight, except we had a, a major accident at Grand Avenue Parkway. We had some accidents in Hayes County. We had a jackknifed 18-wheeler for a short while down near Old Torf a little while ago. We've had dozens of accidents throughout the night, but yeah. the, the snow, the, the, the weather itself, 
has not caused any type of closure. Okay, and then tonight's going to be another story for you, too, because Sean's been saying how it may refreeze. Right. I, I think the major concern in that area is going to be the lesser traveled roads. Usually when when we get the thaw early enough in the day, the interstates and the U.S. highways and the loops will dry out because of the significant amount of traffic on them. Now, the ranch to market and the farm to market roads uh, that don't see as much traffic, there is a, a higher chance of refreezing, and that's something that we will be uh, very diligent about watching this evening as as the freezing temperatures re-enter the area. Yeah, John, before we let you go, do you guys have the HERO program? You got the drivers out on I-35 this morning? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're out. Uh, our trucks are out, so if you're in trouble, you can uh, somebody's going to come along and be able to help you out before too long. Thank days, goodness. Yeah, days like this, everybody very thankful for the you work bet. that you guys do. Hey, Kay, John, well, we, we, we appreciate you for taking some time out this morning and talking to us, and we'll be checking back in with you throughout the day. But.